the business world today is June the 6th, 2010. We're on the June month, you know, goodbye May, hello June. For all you high schoolers, summer has just begun for you guys, I think so, and all the class of 2010, uh, congratulations to all you guys out there. Um, again, the past two weeks, I've been like, really, I've been busy, and that's what it is. Just like, was it yesterday I went to see a summer jam in Boston, uh, what was it, Drake, uh, who else was there, Trey Song, B.O.B., special guest Lupe Fiasco, one of my favorite rapper, it was pretty good, um, I will show you a clip of it, but I'm kind of lazy, but anyways, um, it was pretty good, and after that when I came back home, actually I came back home, yeah, when I came back home it was one thirty, so I went to bed, actually I watched a little bit of Lost, you know, since Lost is over, I decided to watch the first episode from episode 1 to the last episode, which is straight on Hulu.com. And so far, it's intense. So, there's my doggy. He's moving. There's my cute doggy. But anyways, then the next day, today, Sunday, I decided to check my stock market. Because, you know, I haven't checked my stock for a... Oh, check not my stock market, but my stocks. Because I haven't checked my stocks for a while. And it wasn't pretty. If you want to see it, well, you know, I'll just wa let you watch what happened. You know, I'll let you watch. Just watch it right now. Whew, gotta check my stock market for today. Gonna see if I got paid today. Eh, eh. Oh, damn. I was ready on my stock market. Right now. Let me check. Let me just put my password in and see what I got and see how much money I got. Some moolah moolah. Do you know what I mean? Oh, hold on. Wait, wait, wait a second. I gotta put my password. Yeah. Alrighty. No. 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 Why? Why? How the hell did I lose over two hundred dollars in just one week? Why? All right. Maybe I was a little over exaggerating that little clip, but I was pretty damn upset when I checked my stocks and saw it was. Damn, damn, damn low. It's too low. Alright, and unless you got some inside trading going on, you, you want to hook me up with it, you know, send a little inbox over there, you know, tell me some inside trading, just play. But uh, unless you have some inside trading, I think it's affecting you as well. So uh, today of June the 6th, 2010, the stock market, the Dow Jones is the uh, under 10,000 mark, which is a big uh, slap in the face because of many, um, since the since the many economists said that we're out of the recession, we've been uh, the stock has been going blasting off like a rocket, and now we're back under the ten thousand mark. So it's really uh it's it's kind of scary. And uh, every time I check the news, the stock market news, uh, when I say stock market news, I mean CNN news or the stock daily information, and also like you know Fox Business, just plain. But uh, anyways, when I check it, they really point their finger at one continent, Europe, and really the Greece deficit and the whole European Union and the the trillion, the $100 trillion uh, bailout to fix this whole problem. And uh, it's, it's, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. If you don't know how bad it is, I'll let you know. Alright, so before I talk about the whole debt problem, I'm going to talk about debt. I mean, the whole debt problem in Greece, I'm going to talk about just plain debt. Because Every time I talk about debt on this show, people just, like, make debt look like the freak. It's like, make it bigger than it's supposed to be. First, debt overall is not bad. We're all, everyone has been debt. Bill, the top companies have some sort of debt. The thing is, you want to have more income than debt. Um, like I said, top companies like ExxonMobil, Walmart, Johnson Johnson's, great stocks and people that invest and trust in have some type of debt, but they have more income than debt, so investors believe that they can pay off the debt in X amount of years. Or if they have to, worse comes to worse, they can pay off the debt some way, somehow. However, when you have more debt than income, that's when you're in big trouble. And that's what Greece is in. I know that's a pretty crappy explanation why Greece is in trouble, but if you really want to find out the real reason and all, down to the logistic and all that stuff, check the link in the below. I still feel like explaining the whole thing because it'll probably take me like 10 minutes to explain the whole thing and it makes sense too. But that's what's really that's the that's the main deal with Greece. And the thing is, Greece is part of the Euros, and 
So this debt problem is not just affecting one country, it's practically affecting the whole continent. And and many people, many economists are saying that it's not just Greece anymore, other countries are in the same problem, the same debt crisis, like Portugal, Spain, and uh, heck, Italy. As you can see in this graph, this debt to GDP that I got from CNN, money, um, you can see that over the past, what, 12 years, Greece debt has dramatically increased, like I said, in the last 12 years alone. And it's not just Greece anymore. As you can see, Portugal and Spain has also, like, has skyrocketed when it comes to the debt to GDP. And this is not good for the Euros, and it's not good for the European, uh, Europe, uh, already, and not, in that, not only just for Europe, but as well as us Americans, because um, as you can check the stock, is the many investors are afraid of this, and many heck, not only many economists are fearing that this is bad for Europe, but it's not the many economists saying that it could it could happen to us as well, and this is kind of scary because this is a one of those world power, fancy dancy, top of the line countries here. This is not a third world country. This is a, a one of the European. European Union countries, which has been, which many investors believe were a safe place to invest in, a safe uh, country to invest in, and believe that they will pay off the debt. But Greece is a, is a prime example of how some countries who look overall good on paper might not be the best country to trust. And many and many people who call this a disease feel like it's not only affecting one country; this disease is going to spread to other countries like Spain and uh, Greece and Italy and ha Ireland and uh, countries like Germany and France who's been doing really well in economy is, is not good for them because this is not good news this is all negative bad news and it's affecting their currency and their economy as well so my question of the week is what do you think of this whole Europe debt crisis Heck, they already spent a trillion dollars to fix this problem. A trillion dollars. Do you know how much money that is? That's a lot. Too much zeros to even count. Alright. But they spent a trillion dollars to fix it. They already spent a trillion dollars to fix this. And many many people are saying that we're far from over. So what my question of the week for you guys is, do you think Europe can fix this problem? Do you think there's any solution? Do you think they can uh, find a way to solve this problem or do you think countries like Germany whose economy has been doing really well over the past few years do you think they'll have to leave the euros and create their own currency because of this whole European crisis debt or do you think that they can somehow find a way to solve this problem or do you think in, in a few years ten dollars ten US dollars is enough to buy a nice Gucci bag in Paris the question is endless I mean, the answers is endless. So uh, please write your comment below. Send me a message. I video responds. Thank you for watching the business world. And I'll see you next week. Peace out.